New tonight, police say one man killed three people in separate shootings in Albuquerque. Now that officers say they've connected him to a third murder, we have a better picture of all the allegations against him. They include a fourth shooting. The latest was a deadly shooting that left one man dead and left investigators with a link to other shootings, including one that same morning. Tamara Lopez is here with the timeline and why police say drugs played a major role in all of this. Tamara, at first, police say they actually couldn't find this man because he was only known by an alias. Yeah, Tommy, Albuquerque police have been working to find and arrest Gabriel Valenzuela Green. That's after witnesses told investigators he was behind two deadly shootings. But police only had witness descriptions and his alias Memphis to go off of. But after two shootings in the same day, police were able to gather enough evidence linking him to both. I just consider this individual a very violent individual who has been involved in situations that resorts to, to violence up to and including killing people. Albuquerque Police Department Chief Harold Medina is talking about Gabriel Valenzuela Green Jr., or Memphis, as he's known on the streets. On Friday, APD charged him with a third murder. The victim was Dante Barnes. According to APD, Valenzuela Green shot and killed Barnes in a Twisters parking lot near Manal and University on March 13th. Earlier this month, APD spoke about the violent string of crimes investigators have tied Valenzuela Green to. Police say Valenzuela Green sold fentanyl pills at lower rates to undercut the other sellers. All three homicides center around the same thing and it was drugs and it was really robbing drug dealers and taking their lives during the process which highlights the absolute dangerousness involved with drug dealing or carrying around large amounts of drugs are things of value and other people know about it. Barnes was shot and killed in the afternoon, but that morning, APD says Valenzuela Green shot and killed Lawrence Zamora near Pennsylvania. Police say surveillance video shows Valenzuela Green in the area of the shooting, firing a gun before running away. And now APD says bullet casings from the morning shooting match those from the afternoon shooting. Witness descriptions link Valenzuela Valenzuela Green to both shootings. And just nine days before these shootings, police say he shot two other people. One of them, Jacob Rivera, died, and the other was hit in the leg in an alley near Indiana and Cochiti. Witnesses at that shooting told police the two people owed Valenzuela Green money, and that's why he shot them. APD arrested him just two days after the March 13th shootings. A grand jury indicted Valenzuela Green for all three murders Friday. APD also says he's a suspect in two kidnappings and a carjacking incident. Now, Valenzuela Green is in jail tonight, but no court date has yet been scheduled for this latest murder charge. Tommy.